welcome to a new tutorial on solid face. Um, what we're going to try to create here is um, a circular pattern with these two pins interlaid into this ring. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that from scratch. So we'll go ahead and hit File, New. We'll save that. And then we're going to Insert Component. And the first one we're going to select is the slotted wheel. And so as you look at this wheel, you can see that it's got these two sections that have been cut out at 90 degrees from each other. And we're going to go ahead and add a pin. And so what we're trying to do here is demonstrate the power of the circular pattern tool that's up here on the ribbon. And the reason that that's so important is because in this example, we're only doing two, but there are many situations that you can be involved in where um, you may need to pattern several of these um, pins or whatever your circumstance is uh, around a, an axis. And so we're going to go ahead and just select the origin to place our pin. And then we want to do a concentric mate on this surface and our pin. And we'll hit apply. And then now we're going to go to the circular pattern tool. We'll click on that and we'll choose uh, axis of rotation. And you can select any of these faces or you can go down here to references. And we're going to rotate about the z-axis because we want this pin to rotate 90 degrees in this direction. So we'll go ahead and choose the z-axis, and then a quantity of 2, because this is our first, and we want a second to appear. And then our angle is actually going to be um, 360 minus 90, which is a 270 um, degree angle. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. didn't select the instance. So we'll click the instance body. We'll try that again. And as we hit the preview button, now you can see that the pin shows up in the correct orientation that we want it to be at. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the green check mark here. And you can see that that pin has been placed in at 90 degrees from the first. And so this is a really powerful tool when you need to um, place several different components in a circular um, pattern. And you don't want to insert components and add constraints in your actual assembly window. And so that's the reason why the circular pattern tool is um, is so powerful in these applications. And that's it on the circular pattern. We'll come back later and we'll give another tutorial on solid face assemblies.